Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a tiny, tiny, tiny little Dollar Tree haul for you today. I've been to four Dollar Trees, three here by my house and this morning I even drove 25 minutes to Lancaster, Ohio to see if I could find anything new or exciting and I, I feel like it's coming, I just don't have anything. But I found a few things that I wanted to share with you. So let's get started. First and most boring, it's empty because it's in my coffee maker. I bought some vinegar. Um, I know I can get it cheaper, but that's just fine. I just run it through my coffee maker and my tea kettle. So I'll run it through my coffee maker twice and then I'll pour it in my tea kettle. I have very hard water and this is amazing just to get the calcium that's built up. Oh, and my drink today is some iced coffee. I make my own most, most of the time. But I did go grocery shopping today, and if you saw my vlog yesterday, um, I bought Starbucks Blonde because I like that. And then I'll reuse the container for my iced coffee that I brew. I just didn't have another pitcher because I made iced tea. You know, that's how it rolls. All right, anyway, boring stuff out first. I bought three of these drop cloths. They are nine foot by 12 foot. I've used them before, they're super cheap, but my furniture, this couch, and the chair over here will be gone in my next video. So today is Sunday, Friday, my chair and love seat, or no, lies. My chair and ottoman are being delivered. And then I was told that my love seat's on back order until August. So my living room will have a chair and an ottoman and yeah, I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. So I'm not gonna get myself all fussed over it, but it, for my trash people to take my couch and chair that I've set up for Friday, I have to wrap it in plastic. So I also got some of this tape and I got two of these and three of these so I can just secure it around. I have other tape too, but just secure it around the couch and chair when I get it to my curb. So I grab those. If I need more, I can always go get more. Um, oh, I did find another one of these, which the packaging broke. I don't care. Um, purse or pill organizer, which I feel like is definitely better than just for pills. I mean, there's all kinds of compartments in here. I felt I just needed a second one to put in with my travel stuff. Um, but there's like a little compartment here for flat stuff. There are three compartments here and four here. So for travel or whatever, throw it in your bag. This is perfect. So I grabbed one more just to have. Sarah might need one. Um, more boring stuff. I grabbed a Bic lighter. Um, this will go with my camping and backpacking. I don't. I need this size for backpacking to light my little stove. And I'm very 100% sure that the black one will get me through summer, but. I like these because they're small and low profile, so I wanted to back up in case I lost it this summer. I'll have an extra. It's not a big deal, I just saw it and grabbed it. Like I said, any lighter will do, but lighter is better, like lighter and weight is better when you're carrying everything with you. And my plan too is to get out this summer in the morning, like sunrise kayaking, and bring my camp stove and make hot coffee on the shore and then jump in my boat and go. I just think that sounds fun. So we'll do that this summer and I needed an extra lighter. Guys, all that for a Bic lighter. I found at my store, they came back out with these cups. Uh, this is Tropical Life. I love these. Do I need this? Absolutely not. I have a ton that I actually donated. I You saw my Starbucks cup, but I have this on hand for summertime. So. Uh, my pool at my condo, which I'll have to take you on a vlog down there when the pool is open, is open this summer. And my niece Sarah and her girlfriends like to come and use my pool during the week while I'm working because nobody's in there. And she's a teacher and they're off work. So, or she's off work. So she likes to come use the pool. So I thought I'm going to grab two of these. I'm going to put like probably that red solo cup bucket together for her for when she comes with some cups, some bottled water. I'll have some snacks on hand for her and she can drop her dog off and fix up whatever she wants and take it down to the pool. So these are perfect for that. They won't get broken. They hold a lot. I mean, I think they're like 
if I had to guess, I would say 20 ounces that they hold. I mean, they're they're a decent amount. I mean, they're bigger than the Starbucks cups. Hi, Alex. You want to say hi? He said, not really. But is she going to grab? Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. There you go. Oh, my baby. All right. He said, um, I was going somewhere and it wasn't for you to grab me. Wellington is out front in his favorite position, laying in the mulch behind the bush. This is his life. So anyway, I grabbed these. These are fantastic. I, I mean, like, again, I don't put them in the dishwasher, but they are perfect for summertime. And the straws have the little bump on them. They're great. If you have kids outdoors, they're perfect. Um, and I would say quality-wise, they are just as good quality as that Starbucks cup that I already have. I just didn't need a ton of them. Uh, but I think they had three or four different styles. Something else interesting I found, and I know this concept is not new, but they came out with treat sacks that are just non, they're not specific to any holiday. I grabbed this one because it was something that interested me, but these are just the burlap sacks, the drawstring, which I think are perfect. Something I may end up doing is... You can utilize these, get the plain ones or these polka dots or something and use them for advent calendars. I mean, you would have to get 12 or 24, which may end up not really being cost effective. Um, but if you had a few bigger gifts and like an advent um, gift, you can use them for that. I mean, there's lots of things obviously that you can use these for and they are a decent size. They are four inches by six inches and they had one that said best day ever. They have this one. I don't know if this is supposed to be in their wedding section. It was not in my store. And actually it wasn't even with like the gift stuff. It was up by the register. Um, and then they had one that was stripes. I just like the polka dots. And I don't need a lot, but I will stick this in with my gift bag, um, my gift bags, my wrapping paper, my tissue. I'll just toss this in that container. And then when I need a gifting idea or need a package to give somebody, I just think these are adorable. So I grabbed one, just one. Oh, my sinuses. Anybody else having sinus issues? God. Um, so I've been looking at my hands and decided I needed to find some cuticle cream and I was gonna go to CVS and then look what I found. Cuticle remover. I don't know the quality. I haven't used it yet. It's one ounce, which is perfect. Um, my hands are just a little rough. I don't smell, I'm sniffing guys. doesn't have any scent to it. You can't have that. It is green though. Yeah, it doesn't have a smell. I was hoping it would be like mint or something. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna figure out the best way to do this. It just gently removes overgrown cuticles, which I have a whole handful of overgrown cuticles. Um, so it says angle tape, angle tube downward and dispense a thin strip on cuticle using a manicure stick or cuticle uh, pusher, the little wooden things. Gently massage cuticle and wait a few minutes. Wash hand immediately after for 30 seconds with warm soapy water. So I'm gonna try it and see. A lot of my cuticles are just getting outgrown and like messy looking. So I'm gonna try it. I'll let you know what I think of that. Um, I also found, and I have not seen this at any of my stores. I don't know what's going on, but I found the red truck grow gain ribbon. So this is actual ribbon, not, I mean, it's fabric ribbon. And then I found the sunflowers, which for me, this is screams fall. I, I have no idea why these are out in my store, but I will tell you interesting fact. When I went today to Lancaster, and that's a store that's far from me. Everywhere I looked, I am wondering if they didn't like go through their storeroom and just empty it out. There was Valentine's Day stuff. There was Christmas stuff. There was fall stuff. All this wooden painting crafty stuff just stuffed all over the store. I have no idea what was going on there. But of the other stores, I'm seeing lots of I, things where they're pulling out. It looks like old stock and maybe they're just unearthing it and getting it onto the floor is all I can guess. But I was very happy because I looked for this last year. A lot. Now I just needed got one. I don't need a ton of it. I have a lot of ribbon. You get nine feet of this, and I'm super excited because I am. All, it's either black or navy blue. 
I think it's black, but I don't care. I love this for fall. I love sunflowers in my fall decor. I'm not, I don't know, wondering if they don't bloom until the fall, but I like it for fall. So yeah, I grabbed two of those. I don't tend to buy a lot of ribbon because um, I have a lot, but I didn't have these two. So I made it an exception. Um, I did find these Mentos brand <laughs> air fresheners for my car. What? Um, this is mint. They had strawberry and bubble gum. I didn't want strawberry bubble gum, but I love mint. So I'm going to see if it works. It says cool mint Mentos air freshener, unique leading edge design, long lasting fresh scent, breathes new life into the air. Yeah. And it's Mentos brand. Oh, I can smell it through the back and it does have a minty scent. Oh, I can't wait to try it. I'm going to go put it in my car. I'll hang it next to my brother. <laughs> so yeah, they had a bunch of them. I just purchased the one, but they had a lot. And then something that I have literally been on the hunt for, I cannot tell you how long. So, <laughs> and this is the dumbest thing, meat and cheese sticks. So I do ketogenic diet and when I'm out riding my bike or exercising or backpacking or anything outside, I need food that I can bring with me because I also had bariatric surgery. I had the gastric sleeve. I don't know if I've mentioned that before. And um, I can't eat like a huge meal and then go out and exercise. I need to have things with me to constantly be refueling because I cannot eat a huge meal at one time. So things like this, which are shelf stable, are ideal for me. Now I do have... I have five of them that I purchased at Menards of all places, which is a hardware store, but they had it, so I bought it. And then I found these at the Dollar Tree. These are only good till November, so I'm not overstocking on them, but my Dollar Trees have been out of stock on these for months, I have been looking. So, I grabbed three more because I feel like that's gonna be sufficient for me, but I was happy to have found them. And, you know, I may eat two of these while riding my bike. Like this would be enough, I would eat two because they're only 130 calories. So it's not a whole lot of calories to replace. When I ride my bike, let's say I ride um, for two hours, I burn well over a thousand calories doing that depending on the terrain and speed and where I'm at. So I need to replenish throughout the ride. So two of these would be a good source for me and they're shell stable and I can just stick them in my pocket and have them when I'm out. So I grabbed three. Uh, because I have, I have some already, sir. I'm um, sir. We don't eat the core. Thank you. What? Yeah, yeah. We don't eat the cord. I have a ring light plugged in, and he's licking my cable. Why? Why? You're a kitty. You don't do that. He said okay. He stopped. So I grabbed those for me, cause you know. Now. Here's some fun stuff I found. I know everybody's not into this and part none of this is for me. Backstory before I show you. I don't need a drink. Um, I have my two little cousins and, and I call them little, but if I remember, I'll insert a picture at the end of my little cousin Riley at his graduation from high school yesterday, Friday night. And so he's eight, 17, 18, and he has a sister who starts high school next year. So she'll be a freshman and she's starting to get into makeup and stuff. So I found these things and I thought this is perfect for her to spend the summer practicing her makeup techniques and get ready for the school year. So what I found first and foremost, I grabbed a makeup bag. Um, I like this one. It feels like velvet or velour. Plastic on the inside, it keeps her makeup. She's got plenty of makeup bags, trust me, but I just wanted her to have this, so we're gonna pop the tag off of it. And I, I honestly, I don't ever, I don't dislike these at all. They have nice zippers. Yeah, and it's nice and plain. She's kind of getting into the boho, the boho style, which I love. Okay, so I found this hard candy, and this is a, um, highlighter palette so she can contour which all the girls are into so you've got your bronzer your highlighter there's some um setting powder i think there's some blush and on the back it tells her everything that's involved 
Now this, none of this, this is not expensive makeup, but it is not Dollar Tree makeup. I mean, these are, you know, five or six dollars a piece at Walmart or a store like that. Um, and it tells her on the back what each product is used for. So I grabbed her a palette of that because I think that's fantastic. I'm putting everything in here. Then I found for her, again, the Hard Candy brand. I'll open one of these. Um, let's see, maybe. Oh, it's tape shut. So you can see it. It's an eyeshadow palette. Um, I actually grabbed two of those. This one because I liked it for myself as well. Come on, what's happening over here? Oh, there's two pieces of tape. I just missed the other one. So this one will be mine. I'll give her the other one. But this is Hard Candy. It's an eyeshadow palette. Ooh, I had it open a second ago. There we go. It does come with some brushes, but those are nice eyeshadow colors. Um, let's see if they're, yeah. I mean, they're not, they look much darker than they are. They go on pretty well. I mean, it's not, it's not expensive makeup, but these are nice. And I also will get her some other colors of eyeshadow, but I thought this would be fun for her. Um, like I said, I did get two, so I'll put hers in here. Um, yeah, and it comes with a brush. I don't know how much these are, but this is birthday suit. So this is their palette that's pretty neutral, which I think is great for a young, young person, a young adult. And then I did grab her two brushes. So this is the contour brush, so she can use that with the um, highlighter palette. And this is an eyeshadow brush. And obviously she can use that with the eyeshadow. So those will go in here as well, maybe. They may not fit. And these are, um, they're Wet n Wild brand. Again, they're not expensive brushes. And as she gets more into makeup, we can look at better ones. But, you know, they're not, I don't hate them. I have some that are Wet n Wild brand. They're just the black and not the white. The black ones are the little better quality, but when she's a little older, we can get her some better brushes. But for now, that will work. And then I grabbed this, and I'm not sure if this is for her because it is a liquid gold sparkle, and I think it's eyeshadow, I'm trying to read. Liquid sparkler, it's called. Um, Use alone, mix and match, or layer over other makeup. I think it's eyeshadow, if I had to guess. It doesn't say, so maybe you could use it for lots of things, but it's gold sparkle, so I'll give it to her. Very neutral. She can put it on her lids. It says on the back, one layer will make, you know, just a thin layer of glitter. So I'll give her just a little sparkle, but I think she can use it anywhere on her face. And this is also hard candy. It's, the packaging indicates to me that this was probably out with their Christmas stuff, but who knows? So I grabbed her that. <clears throat> and then this is also hard candy. It's Lip Artiste <coughs> Lip Contouring Wand. So it comes with a liner and then a gloss, and it says you can use it with any pink lipstick. So as you have your lip liner on this end, your gloss on this end, and then I grabbed her a pink Wet n Wild lipstick to pair it with, just for now. So she could do her whole face, except for mascara. And I think I might have some mascara upstairs. But all of that in its packaging fits in this little bag. So I'll grab her. I know from my couponing days, I think I have mascara. And I think I have um, some other eyeshadows that she can practice and play with. So I grabbed that from my little cousin. And then of course, to go with it, I got her this Bolero facial wipes to wipe off the makeup. And this is um, rose water and aloe. So I grabbed her a pack of 30 face wipes because I'm not gonna give her makeup and not something to take care of her skin. Because to me, that's very important. I'm always buying my niece wipes as well um, to, you know, keep your skin clean. And these are great for, for her. So I got that from my little cousin too, cause I love them. And I'm gonna, I'm so sad they're growing up. Now, the last thing I found are these. And these are photo hangers. I got them in black and white. They come with their own little clippies. 
But here's my idea, which I think these are fantastic all on their own. But if I get some more of these little clippies and I take this and put just a cardboard thing on the top and make it look like a Christmas bulb, I could hang my Christmas ornaments on here. And I bet you I can even just use little clothespins, like the mini clothespins to hang my Christmas cards. And I could create, I would take the cardboard at the top, make a little like ornament hanger and decorate that. And then just hang this and put my Christmas cards on it. So I grabbed two because I wasn't sure, but you could also hang two together or glue two together and you see what you got. Then you have more space because you're getting like, I mean, you could do it however you wanted. You could do squares, hang it this way. You could kind of hold them together like that, hang them this way. I mean, there's a million things you could do with these. I know they're picture holders, but you, there's a million things you could do with these. So I grabbed two of them, just two. And I found these in two or three of my stores. Um, I love that they have the little, I mean, honestly, two push pins would hold this up or a command hook. And then I will do something with it. So guys, that's it. That is all I got this week at the Dollar Tree. I know it's kind of crazy. I'm hoping that they start getting some stuff in. And quite frankly, if they're staying on track, they should be getting fall stuff in soon, I feel like. And I will go a little crazy because then it's time for me to start doing like fall decorating. I know it's like summer. It just got warm here, but I love fall. All right, guys, that is everything. I hope you enjoy. As always, like, comment, subscribe. And thank you so much for your support of my channel. Bye.